Hi and welcome to this VoIP Nugget. I'm Nick Ghali at 3CX and today we'll take a look at how a call is set up using SIP and what ports are involved. First we will look at call setup for an internal call or calls placed over the PSCN via the gateway. These are both internal calls because they are all happening on the local LAN. In the above image you can see the call setup in diagram form. In this example, extension 101 wants to talk to extension 100. To do this, it will first contact the SIP server, in the image it's called PBX server, same thing, and ask for the call to be set up. The SIP server will contact extension 100 and set up the call. For internal calls, the SIP server only sets up the call. It does not deliver the audio. Consequently, since extension 100 and extension 101 are on the local LAN, the SIP server will organize that the phones will be connected directly with each other. In this example, two ports will be used per phone. Extension 101 will signal to receive audio on port 42016, with 42017 reserved for RTCP, the RTP control channel, and extension 100 has indicated that it will receive audio on port 57158. So extension 100 will send audio on this channel. When the conversation is ended, the party that hangs up the call will send an appropriately called SIP BY request and the call will be terminated. Now we'll look at call setup for calls via a VoIP provider or to an external extension. These are different because the endpoints involved in these calls, that is the extensions, are not on the local LAN, but rather on the WAN or the Internet. Typically these calls will proxy their audio via the PBX server. The diagram illustrates call setup for these types of calls. Just as for internal calls, each endpoint or extension has one RTP audio channel and one RTCP control channel. In this example, extension 144 is an external extension that's calling extension 107, which resides on the LAN. Extension 144 will use the PBX server to set up the call, just as for an internal call. However, note the difference in ports used when the call is set up. Because the PBX server sits in the middle, it specifies that extension 144 must send its audio to port 9012. The remote extension itself is using a high port 1388 to receive audio. Whilst the audio is being received, the PBX server forwards the audio on port 64050 to the internal extension 107, as specified by the phone itself. However, extension 107 sends audio back to extension 144 via the PBX server on port 7036. The default setup for 3CX phone systems is to receive audio for the external leg of calls, i.e. VoIP provider or external extension, on port 9000 to 9050. The internal leg of calls, to or from VoIP providers, is received on port 7000 and up. Of course these ports are configurable, but this way you can configure exactly on which ports audio should be received and this greatly helps firewall configuration. This concludes the call setup VoIP nugget. You'll find more VoIP nuggets at our blog. Go to 3cx.com forward slash blog. Thank you for your attention.